Our region's business is sponsored by PNC, for the achiever in you. And by Fregasso Financial Advisors, how different could your life be? Fee-based investment management securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. Our region's business, innovation, transformation, momentum, improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, a local startup takes aim at Alzheimer's disease, and PNC takes the pulse of our region's women business owners. But first, the great energy rush to our region, and it does involve more than natural gas drilling companies. One good example is one of our region's largest law firms, Eckerd Siemens. Tim Ryan is managing partner, and John Hanger is special counsel for energy and the environment. And welcome, good to see both of you. Thank you for Thank having you us. Nice yeah, well, you're fresh off a term as a Pennsylvania Secretary of, uh, of the Department of Environmental Protection. Gave you a good overview of what's happening all the way across the Commonwealth, not just in all the natural gas stuff we hear so much about, but there's a lot going on in Pennsylvania these days. There's a lot going on in Pennsylvania in, in solar, wind, energy efficiency, coal, nuclear, and it's uh, very much concentrated in the southwest in, in the Pittsburgh region but it does include the entire state it's very very exciting there's a lot of jobs there's a lot of opportunity I know Eckert Siemens and Tim Ryan my colleague has a particular I think vantage point to see some of those business opportunities yeah well from your standpoint obviously the, the firm itself really focusing on this is a new area of opportunity as well huh well, in certain respects, Bill, yes, and certain no. The uh, the firm for 50 years has uh, had fundamental practice areas which we believe are the core building blocks of a successful energy practice. There are opportunities in the intellectual property area, be they trade secret or patent protection, across the solar, wind, nuclear areas. There are wonderful opportunities in the environmental area, environmental law area, uh, all the way down to different trucking law opportunities, labor, land use, real estate, uh, and the firm has had uh, tremendous expertise in those areas which we have now pulled together into a very successful energy practice which is, it transcends well beyond natural gas which seems to be getting a lot of the press but it, as John indicated has gone into areas like solar, like nuclear, uh, like wind, biofuels and, and the firm has been very active in all those areas. Yeah, well it's, and it, it speaks to the fact that we've got a lot of expertise built up over a long period of time in these areas industries. We absolutely do. Uh, we've actually led some of the innovation, but we've also been a leader in the commercialization process and, and actually uh, bringing to market, putting in people's homes and businesses, green buildings, uh, energy efficiency solutions, more, more effective furnaces, uh, developing uh, the next generation of solar. Uh, this is, this is a, a industry that has found Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania to be uh, very welcoming and very nourishing. Well, what's happening out there right now that's kind of new and exciting that maybe isn't making all the headlines the way a lot of the coverage of the Marcellus Shale industry is? Well, I think two things that I would quickly identify. One, one is uh, the real advances in efficiency within buildings. Uh, there's a r wonderful opportunity, and actually PNC Bank is a leader of this and has, has demonstrated this, to, to build uh, buildings that are more energy efficiency, are efficient and greener, and actually cost less than j uh, the old fashion construction techniques. Mm -hmm. It used to be that there was a premium for green buildings, but increasingly uh, strong environmental performance of a building also adds up to less dollars in, in the uh, construction process, and that, that's a relatively new flip of the economics of a green building. The second thing that I would highlight is the tremendous advances uh, across the supply chain in solar. I think solar is going to be a very big story over the next five years in the U.S. Uh, the market is booming. Uh, we're going to see a doubling of solar production in the U.S., uh, but it's a story that includes not just the panels. Uh, there's a lot of equipment uh, associated uh, with the solar installation, inverters, and other things. And Pittsburgh, again, and Pennsylvania is well positioned uh, to supply the global solar industry. Hmm. Oh, so it becomes an export industry for us as well. It yeah. does. A company like uh, PPG, uh, Air Products, both big uh, Pennsylvania really business icons, are now uh, in, in fact uh, developing uh, solar products that they're selling to the global solar industry and are earning revenues. 
uh, their plants that, that PBG operates that now gets 5-10% of their total revenues each year from supplying product to the global solar industry. Uh, pretty amazing, you're talking about global giants like PPG. As you look at the companies you're working with as a firm, is it across the board though? Are you seeing the light come on in some other traditional Pittsburgh companies that are now looking at energy as an opportunity too? What we're seeing is that the, the, there was a greater availability of capital for some of the newer technologies which are now maturing and I think in getting greater traction with some of the more established enterprises. Hmm. So companies like First Solar in Ohio may have been first to market with thin film solar technology, but having a very successful rollout and a very successful IPO, uh, I think other companies are catching on that there are some serious opportunities in areas, as John pointed out, like, like solar. Well, we've heard a lot about, the, you know, you, you mentioned green building, we've talked a little about solar, but there's wind, nuclear, of course, long standing effect so are you seeing it across all these verticals as well all these different types of industries here absolutely I, I think Pittsburgh and the western Pennsylvania the 10 10 county region will remain a, a leader in coal and nuclear uh, we're gaining traction in wind and biofuels and it's just an exciting space to occupy right now from the uh, the legal community it, well, there's it, a lot of opportunities uh, if we can find the people this is gonna these are this, this has got to be smart to do all this kind yeah. of stuff which means you got to have skills you got to have engineers you got to have smart lawyers all the yeah. rest of it that would seem to be a, a challenge for us going it, it is a little bit of a challenge uh, training some of the special skill sets uh, but we are strong in education in in Pennsylvania and uh, certainly in Pittsburgh uh, area We've got tremendous higher education institutions, and that is really one of the reasons why there's tr great synergy between the energy industries and our sort of pre-existing human capital, uh, you know, Carnegie Mellon, University of Pittsburgh. I can go on and on. I don't mean to slight any of our... Right. I went down a, d a dangerous <laughs> road there because it's a very long one, and yeah. you can't name them all. But that... It, the fact that you can't name them all is exactly why this region has a lot of the skill sets uh, and the innovation ability that these industries do look for. All right. Well, it's an exciting time for a region and much, uh, much positive ahead. Tim Ryan uh, from Eckerd Siemens, John Hanger, thank you both so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And next up, taking the pulse of women business owners in our region. Stay with us.